Hi, it's Graham here at Neat and it's Friday and it's time I give you a quick update. <clears throat> so today I want to talk about how do we get our Microsoft Teams rooms or Zoom rooms enrolled in Neat Pulse. This is our new management platform. I've done some videos and overviews on that. But today I want to talk about remote control. So let's see how difficult it is to get set up. So <clears throat> I've got the device here in front of me. I need to enroll it in Pulse. So I can go into settings, device settings, <clears throat> and now I'm in the delete settings here and I'm gonna to add to Pulse. It's password protected so people can't just rock up and make a change. We'll put in the really secure password that we have set <clears throat> and we're asking for a Pulse code. So how do we get that? Well, we simply go to our neat Pulse platform and we sign in using Microsoft SSO, nice and simple, very easy. And we're signed into Pulse. So the first thing I need to do is create a room. So I've just deleted the room, so I've already got it here. So <clears throat> here's my code. So all I need to do now is type this on the controller. And what this will do, it'll also enroll the bar at the same time. I shouldn't talk and type at the same time. Men with multitasking. So now this is enrolling into the device. If you have a profile set, we can do that as well. So some other cool things, we can add a picture here, for example. So I can add a picture of the room. There we go, that's really nice. Um, I can close that off now because we know how enrolled and we see the details. And we can also set some permissions on the pad here as well uh, in terms of remote control. Do you want to allowed or not allowed? Of course we want to allow, and I'll show you that setting in a second. So the device is now enrolled. I can assign it a profile. So I've got some profiles set up and let's set this to my production. That's what it is. It's sitting here in my space. I can also leave notes, but we'll talk about it another time. And so I can now drill down into a device. What is remote control? Well, I simply tap this button and now we get to see this pop up on the screen. So you are asked, do you want to uh, approve or deny this for sharing request. And after 15 seconds, it will automatically time out and allow the user. So if it is in someone's room and they're on a call, they can hit decline. So here we have it. We are straight into the meeting and we are there. And what's really cool is within Pulse, uh, I've got my cursor here, I can go to more. So I can actually use the interactive touch uh, face from my browser in here. And we've also got some cool features such as click to drag so we can move up and get to those team settings and enable direct guest join, for example, because you can't do those from Teams App and Center. But what's also really cool is I've obviously got control of that pad and all the settings synchronized between the two. I've also got control of the front of room device as well and configure the neat settings on there. And again, I click to drag, but again, they remain in sync between the two with the neat platform. So if you do change one on the other or need to do something, you can do that. So you've got visibility of the center of room controller and also the front of room uh, display. So we see display one here. If display two was connected, uh, we wouldn't see that in Pulse just yet. And if I do a meet now, we'll then see the device come alive. What we'll also see obviously through Pulse is we'll see the real deal. We'll see the screen number one and the controller but also what that means is we have full control of the device. So within Pulse, I can then start a call, add people, change layouts, etc. So I've got that full control here from the device that I can do. So great for concierge services that you need to have remote control for the remote platform. So I'm terribly sorry this video couldn't be longer and more complex, but that's not how we do it at Neat. We keep it simple. We keep it real. Any questions, let me know.